Hello everybody, Tyrone the Guy 3 here, and welcome to Pokemon X and Y episode reviews. Today we will be reviewing episode 66, Criminal Investigation in Lumio City, Glimbot vs. Black Glimbot. Okay, so, this episode, uh, I'm, I'm back and forth about it, but there were some moments I liked. Because this is mostly the, hey, we need a gym leader episode to get in the way of the gym battle episode. Because Ash can never just battle a gym leader when he makes it to a city. It's He meets the gym leader and then something happens. And then we move on to the battle episode and after episode after. And that's kind of an annoying formula for me. And I get why they do it. It's still annoying though. Especially in this sense because Clem, Clement. It's Clement. Like the gym leader's Clement. We know who Clement is. We know Clement's character. We didn't really need this. But there are some good things I liked about this episode. So it doesn't stop it from being like, eh. So with that all being said, let's get into that plot summary. The episode begins with Ash, Bonnie, Serena running towards Clement to meet him up at the gym. And when they meet him, they are excited to see him. Pikachu and uh, Chespin are over there just chilling. And then Ash decides to show Clement like the progress that he's got. So is Serena. Serena basically uses uh, chooses Breakshin because Finnegan evolved into Breakshin while Clement was gone. And Ash shows off uh, Gudra because G Gudra was a Sligu the last time Clement saw it. So yeah, Clement's just impressed by how strong Serena and Ash have gotten in his absence. But Clement's gotten stronger too. So they all go into the gym and they actually look like they're about to start battling. However, Officer Jenny comes in right before the battle starts and has a warrant for Clembot's arrest. Because Clembot was going to serve as the referee for the battle. They can't have a battle without the referee. Clembot is taken away and is locked up. Now, one thing, and if you all can do it, I'll love you all so much. It's just, I, it was great to see Clembot in jail for a second. Because I thought they would arrest Clement, actually. Because, you know, if it's your robot and you invented it to do bad things, then obviously you're the one at fault here, not the robot. But they threw, they freaking threw Clembot in jail instead. So it's like, whoa. I just want somebody to take the Akon song locked up and just like show, uh, put this picture up on it. And like a uh, sepia tone f filter and just uh, slowly zoom in on Clem Biden to have the song locked up playing in the background for like a couple of seconds. Like, I would love you all for that. Some, some VFX wizard make it happen. But anyway... So Klimbot's locked up, and I actually like Bonnie in this situation because she's, like, comforting Klimbot while he's in jail. And Ash and them are wondering what's going on. And Clement is, basically, long story short, Klimbot is, uh, is shown to be responsible for all the crimes that have been happening in Lumio City. Clement knows that something's up, and this can't be the case because Klimbot has been with Clement the whole time. So Clement goes to check this out and see exactly what's going on. He checks the database and checks the robot and checks everything and notices that there's several differences between the Clembot that's actually doing the crimes and his Clembot. So once he figures this out, he points all these things out to Officer Jenny and Officer Jenny uh, discovers them and goes, whoa, there is a difference here. So once they go outside to go investigate on this and more, they meet up with Alexa. Yeah, Alexa's back. And when Alexa shows up again, she is here for a completely different reason. She is uh, doing a story on the Mega Blaziken uh, Man, uh, Blaziken Man, and starts to question Clement's father. And once she's questioning Clement's father, who actually is Blaziken Man, I mean, come on now, he's not fooling anyone. Anyway, um, once she starts to question him, he starts getting nervous and sketchy on the questions. And while that's all being said and situated, Clement and the others decide to lock down and search for the second Clembot and see what exactly is going on. Since we have enough evidence to show that Clembot is innocent because crimes are still being committed, even though Clembot is out of there, is in jail, then they have to let Clembot go. So they decide to go investigate. And then while we see uh, some crimes are being uh, are being done we see that there's a scientist that's up to these crimes 
and he's the one responsible for it. And we see that there's a black Clembot that's uh, responsible for all the crimes using Magneton. Team Rocket's there also, but I really don't care about them in this episode, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, once we move on, uh, Ash and the others search Lumio City at night. And I think they searched the town hall or whatever because that's the area it looks like they're in. Um, they start searching it at night and they come up with nothing until Ash sees some shadows on the top of the roof and decides to follow them and they wind up seeing the scientist and the black Klimbot. Once they see them and Ash spots them and points them out, the original Klimbot comes in with this freaking karate kick of justice, knocks both of them down, and they end up on the ground. Clement comes up and he uh, spots the other scientists. And the scientist basically reveals that the Klimbot that Clement had was so spectacular and stuff, he wanted to go ahead and copy its schematics and everything that makes it so that he can make his own Klimbot. And he does, and then they try to see which Clembot is bad, better by having the two battle. So the two uh, Clembots end up having a Pokemon battle. However, the battle gets interrupted because Team Rocket's stupid ass has come out of nowhere and end up kidnapping both of the Clembots for whatever reason. Because of this, however, uh, Mega Blaziken and Blaziken Man come in out of nowhere and Mega Blaziken ends up bursting the balloon with Blaze Kick. He then says some inspirational words to Clement and says that he's strong and he's gotten real strong since he's been there and all that, which pretty much gives away that he's the father at this point, but they still don't know. But Blaziken Man and Mega Blaziken end up uh, running off into the sunset now that Team Rock has been taken care of. And Clement and the evil scientists decide to um, continue their battle. Only this time without the Clembots because they've been messed up because of the magnets. So Clement and the evil scientist end up uh, having a Pokemon battle. And the scientist uses Mega uh, Magnezone while Clement ends up using uh, Luxray. Luxray and Magnezone have a big battle and uh, Clement's having the upper hand in the battle with Luxray using Swift. And finishes off Magnezone, wins the battle. The evil scientist winds up going to jail as well as uh, Black Clembot. And they all end up making it back home, eating a large breakfast or dinner or lunch or whatever it was at the time. And it showed that Clement and Klimbot are in the uh, newspaper for a job well done. And then after that, Ash and the gang enjoy a nice meal and we have a happy ending and the episode's over. And that is the end. This episode, like I said, there's bits and pieces I like. I'm a bit mixed about this one, only because I really don't care that much for interruption. I, I, I guess we need to find a name for them. I guess we'll probably call them like, we'll call them like filler gym, filler gym episodes. They're the episodes that happen before the inevitable gym fight, and I really don't care for them to be 100% honest. I get why they have to do it, and I get the build-up and everything. And I gotta say, even though we know Clement already, I will I will say this. Clement definitely does show to have gained a bit more, how you say, bravado in this episode. Like, I respect Clement a little bit more in this episode than I have in almost the entire series. And I know that's weird to say. But I only say that because Clement actually took a lot of charge here in this episode, like he called out Officer Jenny on um, on Clement, on the Black Clembot. He called out, he was able to do some significant research on Black Clembot to know that there were some differences, noticeable differences. Like the heroes turned to Clement for the answers in this episode. And Clement got to battle. And for Clement missing for like a decent chunk of episodes, or like four or five episodes. And then seeing him again and then seeing the focus being primarily on him in this episode definitely was refreshing and it definitely was good. Like, I gotta say, making Clement leave for like five episodes was a very good choice on X and Y's part. Only because it made Clement coming back a little bit more significant. First of all, we haven't seen him in so long because it's been almost a month technically since we've seen him. And second of all, because he's back, he's really taking charge, and I really respect that. So this episode did do a good job of making Clement seem better as a gym leader. 
The problem with this episode is that it's in the way. <laughs> like, that's literally the only problem. I gotta say, Klimba being in jail is pretty freaking hilarious for several reasons. But, um, because I thought they would follow the, uh, laws of robotics. But it's a, it, it's Pokemon. I didn't think they dig that deep into it. Another thing I like is the fact that this investigation happened at night. I don't know what it is about Ash and the others battling and fighting at night in a city that is really cool to me, but I just thought that was kind of cool just to, to show that. But other than that, um, Serena didn't really do much except for show off breaks in, and she took mostly a backseat in this episode, and that's understandable. She's had her moments. She'll get some more moments later, but as of right now, she sort of just took a backseat for this one, and I respect that. Um, Bonnie, I love Bonnie's character in this episode only because of how she acted with her father and everything. And like I said, Clint by being in jail is pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, this episode did Clint, Clint meant some good. So, yeah, it does have significance. It's just, ah, we, like, people don't care about this episode. I can tell that right now. People just want to see Ash and Clement fight. Like, that's literally the only thing everyone wants to see. Like, we just want to see Ash and Clement have their battle. So, I will briefly talk about the preview. From what I saw in the preview, the preview looks really well animated. We see that Ash's Pokemon of choice are going to be Pikachu, Halucha, and Gudra, which we, me, Dean, and uh, KG already predicted that long time ago. So, it looks like it's going to be a really good battle. I can't wait for it. So, um, speaking of which, uh, I was gone for Springfield for a while, so I couldn't really do any recording. That's why this episode, the review is being done so late. But... If you guys want to see a commentary of Dean and KG doing their commentary over episode 66, I will leave a link in the description to the video that leads to the link to the uh, to their commentary, or I'll probably just leave a um, a link to the actual commentary where you can download it. So um, you can check them out. They're my YouTube partners. So I figured it would be good to watch the episode if you haven't already and watch it through their perspective. So yeah, check them out. And other than that, you all have a great day, everybody. Also, I reached 900, 900 subscribers as of a few days ago. I really want to thank you all for your support. Each and every one of you all are great. So with that said, Tyron the God 3 out, everybody.